We will be trying the new KVD Beauty Everlasting Hyperlite Liquid Lipstick. This is the new formula with a new packaging and in this video you'll see swatches and also how this lipstick will last throughout the day. But before we go into all that, let's go see some swatches! Lolita 2, which is described as a terracotta rose. I totally agree with that shade description because it's a beautiful terracotta. Then add a little bit of rose in it. This is so, so pretty. Moonflower, you are a yes. Bleeding Heart Shade. This one is previously Berlin, which is my very, very first Calvani Beauty lipstick. Ever. I'm definitely excited to see if this is really the same shade. Berlin looks different than the original formula. This is more pink. I remember Berlin had like more of a coral to it. It was more of a pink coral than this extreme pink. This shade is not my type of color for sure. As I was swatching it and applying it on my lips, this one is more separate -y. like it's not a full pigment that one is very different than this moonflower one this one applied way better i'm not sure if it's because of the neon ish color i'm really curious about queen of poison to see how this formula is like is it more of the moonflower or is it more of the bleeding heart let's go see queen of poisons is the lolita one and that is a dusty rose Poisons does apply the same as the Moonflower, which I love. It applied very smoothly. Lip through the day. Right now it is 11 and 19 a.m. and we will see if this lip can last through the day. And now it is 1.33 p.m. and I've had my coffee and my lunch. When I was drinking the coffee, there was nothing on the cup that was amazing there was literally no lipstick residue on it but when i had my lunch i had a really good chicken melt sandwich that i pan grilled with a little bit of mayo and this is the outcome of the lips um you can tell that it definitely wore off here so we'll touch up and see how that looks like if it looks crusty or if it actually looks good right after touching up Okay, all touched up. Okay, it is 6.13 p.m. and I've had this lipstick on for, I want to say about seven hours. I just got done eating dinner. I had a salmon burger and some waffle fries with a little bit of hot sauce. And this is how my lips are looking like. Definitely after I eat every single thing, it definitely comes off. I think my lips look really shriveled and very liney. Like it looks like all the moisture definitely have left my body. Jupiter's eye.
Thoughts about this shade? This applied is so smooth. Oh my gosh, it was exactly like the Moonflower, which I really love. Really recommend this shade. Right now it's 11.34 a.m. and I wanna check in a little bit later after I have my brunch. Have you guys tried these egg bites from Costco? This is the bell pepper and spinach. And of course, if you're me, you definitely gotta add your hot sauce. So excited to eat this. Mm. On my coffee cup, I do see a lot of lip residue. But on the lips, it looks like it's doing well. I'm still hungry, so I'm gonna have a bagel. Right now, it is 2.39 p.m. and this is how the lipstick looks like. I think it still looks great. Now I'm gonna have some coconut water and see if we can have some residue on this one or no. There's some residue right here right here and right here now it is 4 21 pm and it seems like this lipstick shade lasts a lot better than it was yesterday when i used the queen of poisons i had an early dinner and i ate some yakisoba noodles some fried rice and chicken katsu along this side right here it can kind of came off a little bit but it's not too bad at all like it still looks really good now do i recommend these lipsticks i want to say yes and no because it's just so 50 50 like i said these two colors are good the other two are not so i don't know if i recommend this i can recommend the colors so if you want moonflower or jupiter's eye i definitely recommend these I'm going to fill this in because it's showing my lip. It looks weird. And that is how it looks like when it's touched up. It looks beautiful. All right, it's your turn. Let's talk. Have you tried these liquid lipsticks? What colors have you tried and what are your thoughts about it? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And if you wanted to watch more videos on my channel, check out this video right here. This is me trying out the new Patrick Ta Major Skin Cream Foundation and Powder Duo. I will see you there and don't forget, have a beautiful and wonderful day!